In an earlier video, we looked at having the equations for the simple harmonic motion and identifying what the amplitude, the period, and the frequency were for those harmonic motion problems. Well, a lot of times we actually have the, mod the situation and we want to write the equation that models that situation. And that's the type of problem that we're going to talk about in this video. So what if we know the maximum displacement, know when that specific thing occurs, and then also our frequency or our period amount. So then how would we come up with the equation for that simple harmonic motion? Now here it specifically asks us to write the equation for the simple harmonic motion that satisfies the given conditions. And we are, for these particular questions, to assume that the maximum displacement occurs at time t equals zero. So at time t equals zero having the maximum displacement, that's telling me that the model we are going to use is the one that involves the cosine function. Because remember the cosine function has its maximum y output um, or the maximum distance away from the horizontal axis when t is equal to zero if it's not been shifted. Since this is simple harmonic motion, we don't have a phase shift, so that's why we are taking the cosine function for these examples. Now recall that a, the number that's multiplied in front of the cosine function is your amplitude, that maximum displacement, and it's the cosine of a coefficient in front of the t time in seconds, and that coefficient in front of t is 2 pi times f, the frequency. So when I go through and look at this first example, it's telling me that the frequency is 0.8 cycles per second and that my maximum displacement is 2 inches. So I'm just going to fit those values into the equation. So frequency is 0.8 cycles per second. F represents the frequency. So I have my maximum displacement cosine of 2 pi times f times t. And sometimes they'll use like an alpha for this maximum displacement, but most of the time um, we use a as, it, as the maximum displacement. Now here within the coefficient in front of the t, I want to simplify if, if I can. It's all multiplication. So I can write this as y equal 2 times the cosine of well, 2 pi times 0 0.8 is 1.6 pi, and then t. And that gives us our equation. And if you want, just remind yourself what the cosine is acting on. You can grab that whole um, angle with the coefficient with it um, in parentheses to show that the cosine is acting on that if you would like. Now the next one, I'm not given the frequency, I'm given the period. But remember that the frequency is just the reciprocal of the period. So if the period is 4.2, my frequency is 1 over 4.2. And then it's 1 over 4.2, then my cycle per second. Now, I also have my amplitude. It told me to assume maximum displacement was happening at t equals zero. So I'm still using the y equal a cosine two pi f t. So I have y is equal to four thirds times the cosine of two pi times the frequency one over 4.2 times t. And then multiplying this and removing common factor pairs I'm going to get y is equal to 4 thirds times the cosine. Now this would be 2 pi in the numerator and 4.2 in the denominator. So a common factor of 2 will remove. And I will have pi over 2.1 t. And certainly if you wanted to change 2.1 into a fraction of 21 tenths and then flip and multiply, you could also write this as y is equal to 4 thirds times the cosine of 10 pi over 21 and then t. Um, either of these forms are equally acceptable. 
but that gives you a couple different examples of how you write the simple harmonic motion equation if you're given either the frequency or the period, but then also the maximum displacement, which we also can call the amplitude.